my Aquarius, I have to start all over again because I just heard that I said Capricorn before I get everybody <laughs> writing to me. It is not Capricorn, you still, oh, Aquarius, you're writing or saying Capricorn. I'll start again. Okay, I'm Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and I hope you enjoy the readings that I do. I'm using the Wildwood Tarot and I'm using the Angel Romans deck. I'm using the Witch's Oracle. I'm using uh, also the cards from Wayne Dyer, uh, the Inspiration deck, and I'm using the Angel Feather deck and the Surrender deck. These uh, you can use when you sit quietly and think about things and meditate on the color of the feather or um, the angel associated with it um, and um, or the incantation or the metaphor of what is being said, the message. You can think about that. So let's get started. This is, is also Valentine's Day this week. So I've got the romance card here as well, just to support the week and your romance reading. Um, like I said, mid-month, I will just do a little reading. Well, um, I'll do it this way, okay? So this is your mid-month uh, card for the romance. See whether it resonates with your reading for the month of February. Look under the playlist, in the playlists, under Romance 2020 or February 2020. Here we go, uh, Aquarius. Let's get it right. First of all, you've got the Archer, number seven, which is the Chariot. The Chariot, you've got public recognition. You might be moving home. You might be going on holiday. If you've had your eye on a car, you might be buying a new car or leasing a new car, but you've got victory. Wow. You might also be meeting a Cancerian if you are not partnered up or you might, if you're partnering up, you might be doing something special, going on holiday with this Cancerian. Okay. Then you've got the page of stones and it says the link. I'll show you the cards because they're quite far off. This is the, um, the archer, the chariot. Wow, I love these cards. I love all my cards. And the page of stones, which is the page of pentacles. You might be hearing news or receiving news could be about your mortgage that you applied for to buy this house. It could be that you uh, might get, a, um, because you've got victory and recognition, public recognition, you might get a promotion. You might actually get that job. Because the page of stones, the page of pentacles, means something with durability and long term. You could also be meeting an earth sign. That is a Capricorn, Taurus, or a Virgo. Then we have on when uh, that was Wednesday, end of the week, we have the shaman, the magician. You have a new beginning. You've got everything in front of you and within you to make that new beginning happen. Okie dokie. Don't be disillusioned and don't make any illusions okay be pure at heart and also look at things um, make sure that you know what you're doing because you've got all the elements all the talents that you need to get promoted or to get this job then we have the stout the page of bows the page of wands again a fire sign Sagittarius Aries or Leo there will be, this is a young person that you could be giving, they could be giving you information or news, but you will receive news. Okay, this could be about a job, something, action, they stand for action, job, creativity, a hobby, passion. Okay, now if you do go out Aquarius with um, fire sign, make sure that you know your boundaries and that you know theirs. 
otherwise the passion passion doesn't last and then it cannot grow into a free fledged relationship so give and take and communicate know your boundaries right now you've got the six of those and that's the six of ones again public recognition victory is yours so you do have victory here the six of ones does also mean moving home uh, could also mean holiday it could also mean promotions moving upwards and forwards like the chariot now for the surrender deck the surrender deck we have surrender to support and love if you are moving home then it is imperative that you do ask for help I've got a message for you from the other side many hands make light work allow the love and support of others in rather than trying to handle everything yourself this can take the pressure off and simultaneously nurture you Boom. of course if you are together you stand strong if you are with friends and family or more people and you do surrender to help from others and love and support you are not alone so that does make you feel happier and of course we want it then we go to the travel plans that is what the Cherise angel feather means it is a light tinge of green on the feather it looks like yellow here but it is a limey color the angels are here to advise you that travel is coming up for you this may be associated with work or a well-earned holiday and how awesome is that okay my darling and you have got the travel cards here and here so that is awesome and remember you can wear this color you can eat this color by drinking lime eating lime um, anything that's light green yellow okay then we've got the inspiration card from Wayne Dyer forget about the cash value yes don't put a price on anything everything don't put a price you're making things difficult you've got a photo of a mountain here and a lake so then I see don't make mountains out of molehills don't do that don't see problems everywhere this is also a transformational period go with the flow you've got the lake so that's the message that I'm getting from this card for you now it says forget about cash value try to free yourself from placing a cash value on everything you have do and say do what your heart tells you uh, do what your heart tells you will bring you joy rather than determining whether it will be a cost effective in the world of spirit there are no price tags boom forget cash value isn't that beautiful and it is most probably also a spiritual week for you because you've got a lot of purple so that your emotions might be heightened you might be more sensitive to things okay you might even feel things or hear things when you're in a meditative state so when you sit down then make sure that you have a book or a jotter that you can jot things down and review your ideas or what you feel and that is called evaluation so that it, it you can maintain going and moving forwards then you've got the crystal ball and the crystal ball I wish I had one in real life I love it Ooh, it's just so beautiful but they can be dangerous because if you leave them in the windowsill and the, the the sun rays catch on it it can because of the prisma 
in the in the crystal ball. I've heard that. Um, it can start a fire. The crystal ball is a reading indicates in in a reading indicates the necessity to find out information that cannot be seen by the naked eye. A necessity to find answers to questions that have been plaguing you. That could be not only in regard to the future, but also the past, because our yesterdays defined our tomorrows. Get in touch with who you were rather than who you are now, and you will find the answer you seek. So sit quietly and, like I said, evaluate everything the ideas or feelings that you get. Don't put a price tag on everything. Change. Okay. Now, why do I would say reading this and the meaning of the crystal ball, why, what is uh, plaguing you? So this could be why am I putting a price tag on emotions or value? on emotions, on love, on things, or things that I do, or say, or, or think. So, you know, it, it does force, if you do put a price tag on everything, then it does uh, imprison you. Now, this is the incantation that you can say when you sit quietly. Guide me back into my past, when visions weren't so overcast. I need to see all that I was in order to clear up the fuzz. Okay, so you might, something might not be clear to you. Like, you need to surrender to love and support. Why can't you? So, sit quietly and meditate on that. Perhaps it is trust issues. You've got the card, trust for the love card this week, okay? This situation is calling for you to have faith. Have faith and if you do have trust issues, talk about it with somebody. <clears throat> you are fantastic. You are a fantastic person. Look at it. You've got public recognition. Public recognition could also be that you have uh, studied or worked so hard and forgot about others and you have isolated yourself, um, Aquarius, because once you isolate yourself, you don't know how to behave anymore. Perhaps only by putting price tags on everything. Perhaps you don't didn't feel of value to everybody because you didn't know how because you've been working so hard to get this recognition or promotion. So open that beautiful heart chakra and your solar plex. That is the color yellow. And you have, you. it is yellow and green together. That is what lime is. And the heart chakra is green and the solar plex is yellow. So you've got two in one, which is very, very significant. Why? Open your heart and open your emotions. Be open to receive support and love. And this is Archangel Jovial and Raphael. So ask Jovial. He's the angel of joy. And Raphael is also the angel of joy and nurturing and care. So call upon your angels in order to open up and receive love and support. Awesome reading. Um, if you are going on holiday or if you are moving home, make sure you've got support and love from others. Many hands make light work and it's much more fun to work together. Have a paint party. Do fun, make fun of it. You know, it doesn't have to be serious. Okay, my darlings, please Hit that subscribe button and the bell and come into the live. If you're new, 
you're more than welcome, and you'll be getting your wings, so you'll be one of my cyber angels. Join the family. Love you. Please share a like. Thank you. Ciao, ciao.